so we have been pretty busy here at my mobile homestead this is one of the beautiful designs from my granddaughter and this is actually one of the drawers and then we have the raised beds that I built here she put welcome on one and she put bees and butterflies on all of them because she wants them to know that they are welcome here so that we can attract our pollinators and these are only like I said in the previous video our flower beds for attracting the pollinators then over here what I'm going to be doing is I have some old shade cloth and I need to uh, I'm not going to hang it up it's kind of stained um, so this is what I had hanging on my fence line over here before we got the wood up so it's pretty it doesn't have any holes it's just pretty stained looking so what I'm, I've done is I've cut them all um, to measure to fit inside the hole so it's these are 20 long and 15 wide so I added about four inches on each side so I've got 48 and 23 to fit inside and then my staple gun here to secure it just in a couple of spots and as far as everything else goes the dirt's going to just hold it in space but don't freak out guys this is uh, I wanted to tell you this real quick I'm putting newspaper on the bottom on the very very bottom and I have a, a reason behind that uh, number one it is um, a better weed repellent than the shade cloth but part of the reason for this uh, shade cloth is it's going to help keep my um, uh, soil from running out, um, so on and so forth. I had a big problem with that, with these raised beds from last year. Um, so I'm hoping that I can help uh, keep from losing soil and water too quickly. But this will help um enrich this soil because this is in pretty bad shape it had um this asphalt up all the way up for a while there so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get inside these boxes and pull out um, all these weeds that are in there and i'm only going to do it inside the box right now because yeah i'm almost spent after having the flu for all that time yep so we're alternating where the uh, boxes that are old drawers Go. so we have the built one and then right here we're putting the drawer and then we have the built one and then the drawer built one drawer we only have three drawers so after that it's just all built ones and hold on a second I'm gonna pause this I'm gonna show you something else we did today okay so the other thing I did today pretty excited about I bought these grapes so this is a blueberry grape I did a video about it and this one over here is a red flame grape and I was concerned for a little while there I really thought oh no they died over the while because I left them in the pots I bought them in the summertime and I left them in the pots and I thought oh no they're dead they didn't make it because everything else was popping with leaves and uh, these were still naked so I came out this morning and both of them this one over here has buds on it and this one's coming out with some leaves so my husband Doug did a used a post hole digger and made a wide hole and we put it enriching the soil down inside and we put it down we did alternate with some of the dirt that was in there so because so that it will know what it's have a familiarity in it um, so this blueberry one nope this is the red flame the red flame one is over here and then I alternated posts and put my blueberry right over here. So I'm pretty excited about that. I'm really hoping for some grapes this year. And then, um, though I didn't do it, this is my beautiful snow pea that came up in the middle of the snow over the winter. And I see a gopher hole right here. So we're gonna have to do something about that because those little poop heads are not gonna eat my food. All right, so. Um, a lot of the soil right here I'm going to be mixing with some regular dirt to help give it some girth because last year I was getting a lot of water just water running right on out of my beds and I talked to the nursery lady 
you know what I've really only ever done in the ground garden I have never done raised beds so this this last year was my first year of gardening slash fail gardening <laughs> so yeah that's what I just wanted to cover with you real quick I have some more straw to put down over here and um, I have grass growing up in here I'm just I think I'm gonna go ahead and just weed whack the grass down because something's growing <laughs> And we'll see if we can, you know, maybe get some grass over here. Who knows? I do want to be able to walk out here barefooted. I, I have a thing, um, I believe in grounding. I'm walking barefooted on the ground. It's good for you. It's good for your soul. So, yeah. And, but I want to make it so I don't hurt myself while I'm at it. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. This is some of the dirt that we took out of the ground from over there and from a big old pile that's right over there across the street. They, say, they said I can use all the dirt I want from there. So we're going in. We're going in. And um, I'll do another video pretty soon to show you um, the boxes filled and the, you know, the seeds that I put in. All right. Love you guys. God bless.